Hi, my name is Andrea. Today I'm gonna show you how to make gym equipment. So let's go shopping. There is a nearby lumber mill. I'm taking my bike and attaching trailer I made about a year ago. It's made of three different types of wood. Elephant ear wood, guanacaste for the box, yellow pine for base and the eucalyptus wood for reinforcements. I really love it. On my list today there are 12 by 2 pine boards and one and a half inch dowel. I already came back from the shopping. So let's take the stuff, take it inside the house and let's do some woodworking. Here I'm cutting dowel to size on my so. I'm cutting slots for wedges here. As you can see it was really slow so I took my jigsaw to make it faster and I made a really really bad cut. Then I made some wedges out of the red cedar. I'm cutting the end of the board square. Then I cut the bases for the sides. Here I'm using my pocket hole drill to make holes for the screws which connect bottom of the base to the sides. I'm also pre-drilling the hole completely. I'm using a bowl to make curves for the sides and I'm measuring for the double holes. I'm using one and a half inch drill bits to drill the holes. Then I feel for the exit hole on the back side of the board. When the drill exits I turn the board around, I clamp it and I finish to drill the hole. Then I use the jigsaw to cut the curve on the side. Then I use the side to drill the other hole opening. This way the dowel sits parallel to the floor. I'm using my block plane to take away the most of the sides and to curve the sharp corners. Then I use my sander to finish the surfaces. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper. I'm applying glue and using 3 inch screws to join bases with sides. Then for the glue squeeze out I use some sawdust to clean it up. I then drill half inch holes for the dowels for reinforcements of the sides and I glue dowels in place. I saw of the rest, I plane it and sand. I apply glue inside the holes and on the wedges for the dowel. And I hammer the wedge inside the dowel. Then I drill the half inch hole with the first snare bit and continue drilling hole for the 3 inch screw that passes through the dowel securing it to the sides. I finish by gluing the dowel into the hole, sewing it and using chisel and sandpaper to make it flush with the surface. Then I cut the rest of the wedge and dowel by hand saw. I finish it by chisel and sandpaper. Then I finish everything with 220 grit sandpaper and wipe all of the dust. Then it's time to put the signature. I use mirror printed image with laser printer and some paint thinner. I apply the thinner to the piece of cloth and press it onto the wood for 10 to 15 seconds. I allow thinner to dry and take off the paper. The transfer is complete. Then I apply a coat of spray lacquer to protect the signature. Finally, I use my homemade finish made of beeswax and almond oil. It smells great, it's not toxic, doesn't stain and gives good protection to the wood. I apply it and leave it for half an hour, then I wipe off the excess. And there it is, the finished product. 
Now it's time to attach it to the trailer and deliver it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and see you soon.